Yo, what's going on, sexy someone? It's today we're here doing a ranked one v one, and I am gonna play Scylla. And let me tell you why I'm gonna play Scylla, because I just did the video 11. of uh, <clears throat> what was it called? What's his name? Who's it? who's this? Well, who's it? Who was I playing? <laughs> uh oh, Chernobog. And I played uh Silver Branch stacks, and I realized. I get 150 power from one item on physical. I want to see what item gives me the most power as a magical. Now, I know what you're thinking instantly is, why didn't you play Kukulkin to do this? Well, my reasoning is that uh, Kukulkin, his passive isn't really going to... Like, I'm not going to add that into my my calculation for the power that this item is giving me. Which, by the way, the item is Book of Thoth. Hello, YouTube. YouTube said hey back. Um, <clears throat> so, Book of Thoth, the item on its own sits at 180 power fully stacked. Now, I'm going to do the same thing I did with the Silver Branch, where I'm going to try to build around this item. So I'm building the items that give me... The most mana, not the most power, not the most whatever, just the most mana. Um, I'm pretty sure I get this. I'm also pretty sure I die if he hits me with this too. Okay, he didn't. So we love that. He didn't hit me with this one either. Okay, but I think we're chilling. Perfect. But yeah, um, so I'm going to be building around Book of Thought, trying to see how much power this item by itself is giving me. And I, I mean by itself, kind of loosely, obviously. My one will do quite a bit of damage. Nice. Little pop. Little pop goes the weasel on him there. I don't want him to turn and kill me, so fake it. There we go. Perfect. And here comes the one on the wave. Not me. Perfect. Again, I do have alt. He doesn't have a jump out. So if I land the one, I could alt him for poke. I don't think I want to alt him for poke. I think I'm actually just going to hold on. If he jumps, then I will though. Perfect. So what's that? That's going to give me is... Basically, free control over his blue. He could try to do it because he does have alt, but I don't think that he's capable of it. Because I do quite a bit of numbies. Nice. Perfect. Now, he might try to alt me. He's, oh, he doesn't even have mana. Okay. We're good. We're good. And that's triple buff control over a Kamazots. I don't even know if he got his... Uh, I don't know why my cam is like that. It's so weird. I don't even know if he got his, his two stacks on any of them. Which is super important, by the way. If you're... <coughs> excuse me. If you're playing Kamazots and you don't get all three stacks of your two up pretty early in the game, you're in for a hell of a rough early game. All right, Book of Thought is 1850, and I'm only about 80 gold away, so I can back and wait it out. There's nothing on the map. No XP. I'm not missing any minion wave or anything like that. So I can chill. Grab the item. I like this. Initial power spike is 95, which is impressive. But I got to fully stack this and start building other items with a lot of mana. Now, what I'm going to be building is... Uh, obviously this tree is very high in mana, 300 on Soul Reaver, 300 on Poly, 200 on Book of the Dead. Not to mention Book of the Dead gives me quite a bit of survivability because it uses the same passive as Book of Thoth, except instead of giving you power, it gives you a shield. So since I'm building all my mana items, I walked straight into that. That was big bozo energy. He's going Soul Eater. That was a lot of damage. Friends. I'll ward this. I don't think he's going to come over here because I can kill him pretty easy, but just in case. 
I'll grab the red because I don't have mana issues and I don't suspect I will this game. Amazing clear. <clears throat> he does have Soul Eater and he is Kamazot, so I'm going to need a Divine, maybe. Does Divine have any mana on it? Oops. No. Okay, so I'm not building Divine. That's garbage. No mana, no build. That's how I roll. Now, if I land my one, I could go for the alt again. Except I'm a little worried that he'll just alt me while I'm alting. And then I miss my alt and he does extra damage to me. That doesn't sound super dope. My next item initially actually might be a Book of the Dead. The shield will be small, but a little bit of survivability is going to be really good. You got to keep in mind, I'm not going to have cooldown either. Actually, no, that's not true. Chrono Spin, it does have... Don't kill me, please. Chrono Spin, it does have quite a bit of... Okay, you're ulting. Oh, wow. That 2-1 combo actually killed. Damn. That was a lot. That was a lot of damage. Chronos Pendant does have mana on it, correct? No, it just has MP5. Alright, I can't really build that then. That sucks. That sucks. Alright, he's doing his blue buff. I just saw his gold spike up. That kill was good on his part, man. Hitting the 2 and the 1. Also, him flanking around. I hate it when people do it, but, you know, it's a strat and it works. So why not do it? How much is Book of the Dead? 1250. I can get that after probably two waves. He's getting some defense right now. This is going to be a, a, a very hard game to win, by the way. Because I can't go Divine if I want the full meme of my build to come alive. And I can't uh, build defense or cooldown. So my my whole build relies on basically one-shotting him or getting one-shot. And him having defense means it's going to be hard to one-shot him. <laughs> at least early game. At least early game. The later the game goes, the more I, like the easier it'll be for me, I'm sure. But I don't know. At least in terms of damage. I am still higher level than him. Like, I have more XP and more gold, even though he has a kill on me. Alright, that was an even trade. HP-wise. Except I forgot he had Soul Leader and he has Lifesteal, so probably not even. Nice, got the red. I probably can't pick that up, but that's fine. I don't need it. I don't need to pick it up. I just wanted to make sure that I got the XP from him. Oh, I did not detonate that quick enough. You do your blue. And I back. I'm going to put this point into my one so that it's AoE now. Also going to grab... I could actually grab Polly here and a tier two instead of going the other thing. Which I think is probably a better play because the Polly's going to help me poke him out. Let's see. My power's at 418 right now. I don't even have my Book of Thoth fully stacked yet. You alright, baby? 468. Did I just get 50 power? I just get a 50 power spike from finishing Book of Thought. That's incredible. Mm. Oh, I got a shell just now. That's so weird that he would shell that, actually. I feel comfortable being able to do this because I can just like... I, 
All right. Oh, good Aegis. All right. Okay, he's full HP again. Soul Leader. Hmm. You know, as much damage or poke as I think I can do, it's never enough because of, uh, because of his soul leader. He's just healing everything back. It's all right, though. I'm down for an even trade and backing. I'm going to go book of, of the dead. I want some more survivability at the moment. I'm going to have to look at how much mana my items are giving me at the end of the game and do the calculation then about how much power book of book of the dead gave me or book of thought i mean nice red buff mine again i'm going in Oh, he's max cooldown already, actually. Okay, that missed. Oh, I didn't hit the poly auto. He's going to heal back the full HP off this wave here. God damn, dude. <laughs> God damn. Get his ult. He did an ult. No way. Okay. There we go. I was going to say, no way you're not ulting that, dude. Alright, that was, that was pretty good. We forced him back a bit. I'm going to corner him, though, so I can do some more damage. Oh, there's a shell. I mean, getting a shell for free like that is amazing. Dude, my damage is actually really good. The issue is not my damage output. The issue is... Oh, okay. I could have died there. I could have died. I don't know why I did that. Ah, I thought he was going to juke into it. I do want to go pick up this blue, actually. Are you full HP again? I can't see. Come back. Let me see. Yeah, you are. Oh, if you miss everything, you better be scared. Never mind, I miss. I miss again. Dude, we're both garbage. We just missed everything. <laughs> oh, damn it, dude. That hurts. Oh, this is Aegis. Got his ages and I still got the damage. Jumped away. I am strong. Good damage. And I got the poly auto on the tower there. Let's go. All right. Red buff down. As long as I can keep controlling the game's pace at the moment, I'm I'm good. <clears throat> I'm going in. I have 3.7k gold. Holy crap. I'm gonna grab this. Is this What's funny? more mana that I can grab here? Oh my god, I can get a Bancrofts. Bancrofts has 200 mana, right? 150? I guess Typhons has 200, Doomorb has 200, Warlock Staff has 200. 
Mm. I still think I'd rather have a Bancrofts. Well, I don't know, actually. He has Beat Stick. Maybe I don't care about the Bancrofts. The passive, though. Bancrofts Claw would actually be really nice. Because he's max cooldown. I got hit by that. Ouch. He's going to full heal off the wave. I'm going to let it happen. Nice. At least he missed that. And he missed that. Nice. I missed. Oh, I definitely won that trade there. All right, he gets his blue buff. That's fine. Why does he keep jumping for mine? He already checked it. It's not there. Oh, he was doing bull demon. I make Let's go. He's going that direction. We jumped the other direction now. I, am strong. I don't know where he went. Oh my I God, I peed. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. How dare you? How dare you scare me like that? You fucking demon, man. Mm. Almost. Damn, you heal far too much, my guy. You heal far too much, my guy. I make pain. Let's go. Well, I think I was able to save my tower, though, which is nice. I was definitely able to save my tower. That's really good. All right. We're going to go Bancroft's Claw here. I like this. And I'll get a 500 pot. I know I still need my starter item upgrade, but that's okay. Uh, every 15 seconds, gain a stack of 100. Each 75 magical power I have. I have a lot of 75 magical powers. <laughs> <clears throat> oh yeah, blue stone. Or or redstone, I mean. I think I think the blue stone here would, was a better option, to be honest with you. Oh that hit me. The problem is I have to fight right now and without waves, and I don't win the fights without waves. Ow. Ow. Oh, gosh.
Oh man, that that had to be close. That had to be close. I think I can get his tower here. Because I'm practically full build with a poly. Yeah, I mean my poly hits for like 700. Nope. Oh, dude. What an intense game. I like games like this, though. I don't get too many of them. So, like, when I meme and I actually have intense games, it's fun. Oh, my. Let's go, dude. Let's go. The poly. The poly. All right. We can... Maybe we can win the game here, actually. That would be sick. Hold on. I'm going to full combo. Massive damage. Can I win, though? I don't think I can win. My cooldowns aren't coming up Let's fast go. enough. All right. That's okay. That's okay. I'm not upset about it. <clears throat> Let's go grab our Archmage gem. I have to go Archmage because it gives me mana. It's the only one that does give me mana. Gonna upgrade my relics. My 500 pot again. I am at 1,000 power. 995 power. That's without red buff, by the way. My poly does hit for 700. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, that was a shell too, man. I got a shell with that combo. Oh, I missed. Do I die here? Oh my god, he's full HP. He hit the wave and just... Boom, full HP. Oh, I thought that would have hit him. <clears throat> my poly didn't go off. Gonna have to alt this. Oh, God damn, dude, that altered him hard. Dude, this, these fights are so fucking intense, man. Ah! No! No! Damn it. Dude, if I just had... Oh, if I had red buff, I won the game right there. These fights are great though. This is a this is a 23 minute competitive game. Which doesn't happen to me very often. <laughs> so it's pretty dope, man. I'm enjoying it. My uh my ult will be up soon. My shell will be back up soon. He's doing bull demon, but you're going to lose the game. No more down. Uh, I don't want to win because can you come back? Okay. Well, weird way for the game to end. 
Weird way for the game to end, him just going for Bull Demon to lose the game, but <clears throat> is what it is sometimes. Um. Uh, no, I just altered his Titan for 2,500. Pretty normal. Um, <clears throat> GG. Now let's do the maths. Let's calculate the maths. So this gives me 10% of my mana from items as power. So this item by itself gives me 180. Hold on, let me bring out the calculator because this is going to get fucking complicated. Uh, where's my calculator? Okay. So this gives 120 plus 200, 10% of that. That's 140. So we got 140 plus 180. Plus 180. Oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. We're just calculating Book of Thoth. So it's 20 plus 180. And then the mana of this is plus 30. And then the mana of this is plus 20. And then the mana of this is plus 30. And then the mana of this is 15. You were telling me Book of Thoth, that buying that item gave me 300 power. 295 power off of this item right here. That is so much power. That's easily the strongest item in the game. Like the most power heavy item in the game. And there's no comparing it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys. Peace.